the operational pieces around did did people have their laptop on day one? Uh, mm. Able to sign I in. I can relate. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Can't we all? I mean, I think so many yeah. people have have an example of like an onboarding experience that sounded more like waterboarding, right? <laughs> yes. and if, and if you're yeah. not collecting experience data around that, you might be missing a big piece of of the picture around what's happening, right? Because if you're just tracking whether or not the laptop went out, you might not know whether or not that person was able to log in and actually felt empowered to do their job. Yeah. And then when you think about the business impact on how long it takes that person to ramp up and whether or not they turn over within the first six months or year because their onboarding experience was felt like a hazing experience rather than does someone have a camera? Is someone secretly filming (laughs) here? You know, (laughs) employees have workplace needs that when met, they they give above and beyond. I think most people, and I think the data shows this, most people are good people. <laughs> most people are hardworking, want to do a good job. And it's it's only when those things are absent that you you people become disempowered. People people tend to give less of themselves. It's really just about making sure that you're doing the, the care and, and feeding and, and, and stewarding the, the people that, that choose to spend their time with your organization. Together, these three components make up happiness, right? So high positive emotions, low negative emotions, and high life satisfaction. But for all of us, you can be any combination of those three things. So you can have high positive and high negative emotions, which means that you're all over the place, (laughs) Uh, (laughs) uh, along with high or low life satisfaction, right? You can have really high life satisfaction and have low positive emotions and low negative emotions and be just kind of flat. And I think for each of us, we have different weightings in terms of what's most important to us. Is happiness to us being not sad? (laughs) Is happiness to us having a lot of positive emotions? Or is happiness with us having a a really high appraisal of how we're doing in one's life? 